If I had never cared about anything that Black Rifle had done before this Easter 2024, none of the ultra-liberal movements, not the fact that the company is owned by a bunch of liberals to include George Munez now, not about them throwing Kyle Rittenhouse under the bus and not supporting the Second Amendment, if I never cared about any of that, this video that I'm about to show you would be the thing that put me over the edge that really said that these guys are not all right. Before I show you the clip though, let's look at a cryptic piece of whatever it is that they decided to put at the end of the video that most people are never even going to notice. So what that was, I don't honestly know. I don't, I haven't figured it out yet. I'm hoping that one of you people in the comment section below will know. Share this video with everybody because it's quite possible that someone that you know knows exactly what this is. But people tend to see something like this and think that it was an afterthought or a mistake. As a guy who edits videos myself, I guarantee you that this was absolutely not a mistake. This was put in for a very specific reason and effort was taken to put this into the video. So the more people that see this video, the more likely we are going to be able to find out what is actually going on there. Google reverse image search didn't do anything for me. I also want to mention like I'm a real person doing YouTube on a cell phone on my property talking about things I'm passionate about. I'm actually accessible. And because of that, I know a little bit about Jared Taylor, Matt Best, or Rodney Taylor at Black Scout Survival, because when these people have stepped on other people or even just had relationships with other people, those people see my videos and they come to me and they tell me stuff. This happens across the board with almost every, anything. Anything I've ever done a video about, someone has reached out to me with inside information. Um, so Jared Taylor... Uh, it has been kind of the video guy, the promotions guy for Black Rifle Coffee since the very beginning, one of the original three owners of the company. And Jared Taylor does not care about anything. He doesn't care about any political stance. He's not passionate about anything except for getting attention. So there was the whole, is Jared Taylor gay thing? Does that tie into his makeup guy who did makeup for Taylor Swift or something like that, who was also gay? Was there something going on there, et cetera, et cetera? None of it matters. Is Jared Taylor an anti-gun commie? Is Jared Taylor just a dude in a hard spot uh, with a company and he's just doing his job? None of that matters. Jared Taylor does not care strongly about anything on one side or the other except for getting the attention, which makes him the perfect uh, tool uh, to be used as he's being used. Just to throw this in really quick, Jared Taylor's new, uh, new little studio name is Babel. I mean, what more do you need to know? Like... How, how obvious do they need to make this? Seriously. Let's watch the whole clip. This is their Easter uh, information here, their Easter promotion for Black Rifle Coffee Company.
enjoy private journalism. Like, real, someone, if you like real people looking into things and telling you about them, go ahead and consider checking out the description box below, see how you can support this channel. I have a knife company, Exodus Knife and Tool. My knives are made in the USA, no questions asked, lifetime warranty. I make custom rifle slings to order uh, using all made in America mil spec components. I designed the sling while in Afghanistan in the military. And I also have affiliate links and a Patreon and stuff like that. It's in the description box below. So, <clears throat> I don't want to go into necessarily theological issues with this video because it does not matter. This video was made for skin-deep Christians, right? The people who don't know why they believe anything that they believe about Christianity, but they have been raised to be Christian... And so they see Jesus killing bad guys and say, hell yeah. This was made, uh, this reminds me of a personal experience of mine. For uh, I, I, I almost dated this chick at one point. Uh, asked her, she said she was a Christian, asked her what she believed. Uh, she said she was a good person, but she doesn't know about the whole Jesus dying on the cross thing. This is made for that kind of Christian. But there are, this is, this is, this is so bad, I'm not going to take the time to go into the specific details about why it's so bad. If you don't already know, explaining them probably is not going to do you a whole lot of good. But at the end of the day, everything that Black Rifle Coffee is trying to represent, the old Trans Am, the American way of life, uh, conservatives as a general, uh, American culture, it's all a lie. And if you are their target demographic for sales, uh, unless you are the ATF or a Fed, you are their enemy. If you own a gun shop, if you buy your stuff, you know, from a gun shop, if you are, are any of the things that they are advertising to, especially the Christian conservative American, you are the enemy of Black Rifle Coffee Company. And the true irony here is that I think almost everybody that I know that drinks Black Rifle Coffee believes something about NWO, New World Order, Antichrist, uh, shadow government, uh, uh, the swamp that needs to be drained. No matter, I've never met a Black Rifle Coffee enjoyer whether they are a current enjoyer or a previous enjoyer, who didn't believe something evil was going on in this world and pulling strings behind closed doors. And anybody who doesn't believe that that's happening anyways for any reason is kind of stupid. But the irony is they don't believe that anything that they are doing or purchasing often, or the current enjoyers, uh, uh, nothing that they're doing or buying is going towards that. And so, uh, especially with the free economy, guys, uh, if you believe in, the, in, in any of these evil entities, you have to wonder how they are possible, how they are financially possible, and think about the fact that you are paying for them. And in the case of a company like Black Rifle Coffee Company, they are going out of their way to make it obvious. You have Starbucks is paying, donating money to all of the causes that they openly believe about. Patagonia, the apparel brand, every single product that they make is made out of oil, and yet they are funding end oil rallies and all of this stupid stuff here. But these companies like Patagonia or Starbucks, they're never going to reach or not to any measurable extent, they're never going to reach a segment of the population. The quiet, the silent majority, the quiet conservative, whatever else, that, in, that revenue income stream is non-existent for them. So you have to brand some companies with the same agendas to reach that target audience. So Black Rifle Coffee can throw it into your face constantly. They'll throw Kyle Rittenhouse under the bus until it suits their needs, and then they'll come crawling back to him trying to get those sales back. They can be on a first call basis with the New York Times. They can invite the New York Times in to do an article about them. They can share that article themselves and get the promotion from that. 
And then they can turn around and say anybody who believed the article was authentic uh, is an idiot and they don't want their sales and they can completely separate themselves from the cons any kind of conservatism and again reach a whole nother audience, get a whole nother set of sales, get in the news again. They could be on first name base with the Fox News. Listen, these companies, Montana Knife Company, Black Rifle Coffee Company, you don't just start a veteran business and out of nowhere be like, we're going to do what nobody else said was possible. We're a veteran starting a business. And Fox News is like, holy crap, guys. Let's get these guys on the phone. And let's, let's, let's do an interview with these guys. That's not how the real world works. That's how it's advertised. That's not how it works. And, and then you look into how all of these guys are tied in with the CIA. Look who else they're tied into. Look at Joe Rogan, X, Y, Z. They're all tied into all of these people. And they're all, they're all doing a little puppet show. And they're all getting your money. But more important than your money, they're controlling the narrative devil's in the detail guys so if you are listening to these people looking up to these people that's why podcasts have become so powerful and podcasts of the people really telling the truth they all stay minuscule tiny they'll invest tons of money and time have amazing podcasts it'll never really go anywhere it's that money that real money and that political influence you know, like Jared Taylor did all of this work for Patch McCain, Dan Crenshaw, directly tied in there. He'll donate all of this money to them. They donate money to the Biden Victory Fund. They'll donate money to Obama. Uh, they're like, oh, it wasn't us that donated the money. It was our employees. Why are so many of your employees commies? Why are so many of the people on your board of directors who actually own Black Rifle Coffee at this point now that they're incorporated, like George Muniz, who is on Biden's presidential team and was a big uh, head honcho dude in freaking Chicago, why, 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 if your co company's actually conservative, why is this the kind of people that you attract to your company? All right, guys, so it should be easy. Connect the dots. Get rid of your, uh, you know, preconceptions. Look at things objectively. And it should all be pretty straightforward, guys. Don't fund your enemy. And if you are still confused about Black Rifle Coffee, holy crap, I am just i am just at a loss for this video uh to take this a step further as we're closing out here the one of the first comments i had was from a uh youtube uh user who's probably jared taylor titled your favorite fed comedy talking about the romans you'll notice all of the romans in the video why does the bible not talk so much about the romans when we're here oh because the field was filled with jews i'm not going to dig into that we're not going to get into all of that but his comment look at the romans look at the romans look at the romans uh the Romans are an issue. The Romans are a huge issue too, by the way. So usually this is how psyops work is you make a point like that and you, you get on one side of the argument uh, and things are designed so that you pick one side or the other. Rome was just as bad as the Jews, guys, if not worse. There's a lot to say about that. So don't think that I'm, I'm uh, blind to what Rome truly represents and what Rome truly represents today. But they generate this content that is made meant to make people talk. It's meant to make people take one side or the other. The best way to defeat the enemy is to control the enemy. These are classic strategies. Uh, me talking about this, is it going to push their agenda maybe to some degree, but a few thousand views is not going to help them that much. But there are individuals, I don't care about that. There are individuals who watch, who have not yet had the discernment to see these things, and I make content for those people. The content that nobody else will make, or or they will make it in such a way as to support one side or the other and still play into the system. Guys, think for yourself, open your eyes, and... Um, the, the best, the easiest way to be used by the NWO, by Satan, by anything else is to have vices. 
And for Jared Taylor, his vice is attention. And that makes him really, really easy to manipulate. He is the perfect guy to be working with Black Rifle Coffee Company and to be heading in the direction that he is heading in. And for some people, it's going to be women, uh, drinking, smoking, drugs, whatever it is. Guys, focus on your family. Focus on your church. Know why you believe what you believe. Read your Bibles. Uh, and think about working towards becoming ungovernable. You will not be able to obtain it, but you can sure work towards it. Think about prioritizing owning some land, raising some animals. Get training. Stop buying guns. You see, the feds, they can tell you, stock your ammo, Rodney Rodney Taylor. Uh, stock, stock your mags, guys. Pack your bags, stack your bags. That's all I can say. Well, they can tell you that because they know that you're just going to be a loot drop for the feds and give them what they need to get to the next house anyways because if you're not getting training, what you are packing and stacking is irrelevant. Trust me, go to Tactical Response, take the trifecta, fighting pistol, immediate action medical, and the fight, and then start looking for some survival training, Randall's adventure training, and start looking for some homestead training. Down here, Kentucky Sustainability and Preparedness is doing some absolute great stuff. Learn how to do this stuff before you're sitting here like, man, what was I doing with my life? Did I really need to spend all of that money on the NFL and on a new car and on a bigger house uh, when right now I would do literally anything for a loaf of bread or some water, right? Prioritize, guys. And it's going to start with your theology. Open your Bibles. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope that you have a blessed day.